going on with the dancer course, uh, we're going to see a couple of more uh, simple examples. So we started with an example where you saw hello world and then we saw how to test it, how to verify that uh, indeed uh, you get back the same. But that's the static uh, string. So let me just switch back to that. So we were just returning a simple string, nothing dynamic there. So in this slide now, we're going to be a little step forward where we are returning something more dynamic. So this is in the examples dancer showtime uh, up PSGI. So if I switch to the terminal, then it's in the, again, it's in the showtime uh, directory. Showtime directory. Uh, as you remember, uh, we have downloaded, uh, well, on the Windows machine, we downloaded uh, the examples and all the source code of the slides here on the Linux. That's actually the source where I'm writing it. So if you look, ar if you look around, here we have the appsgi and the test uh, t. And I can run plug up and let me run it with minus r. And here it's running. It's also monitoring the appsgi file and I can open the browser and well, I can close these ones. We don't need them. This is from the previous video I recorded. Yeah, and we can write here localhost 5000. So it doesn't really matter if you write localhost or what did it say? It says HTTP 0.5000. It doesn't matter. They all refer to the same place. And as you can see, it showed the, the time. So now I can reload it and uh, it shows the updated time. So every time I'm going to access this page, it's going to show me the time. And uh, how did we do this? Uh, no uh, magic there. We just only we just loaded the daytime module, which we had to install. So this is not coming with Dancer too. Uh, this is a separate module. You don't need it uh, for this example. We could just use just regular local time function. But um, we figured it might be more interesting. So remember, you have to install the daytime just by typing in cpan m uh, daytime, and then uh, the route is the same. Uh, the definition of this route, but this, in the subroutine we use the datetime uh, module to create an object that uh, represents the current uh, date and time. So this is the, the now method, this represents it, and then use the uh, string format, uh, string formatting of time function, whatever it's called, uh, where you can use these uh, signs, so you can, uh, actually you can look for the SR STRF time, I think the most uh, common uh, page that you will si find with this is uh, about the Python version of it, but th these are more or less the same signs, I think. Uh, this is quite standard. Maybe the, some, maybe Python has some, some extensions, I, I'm not sure. So, But anyway, you can get uh, these um, percentage signs from there uh, in case you're interested. And that's how you format a string. And then now you have a string here, and this is what we return. And all the rest is the same. So it will just output this time. So far it's good, so you can see that it worked. Now let's test that. So how can we test this uh, code? We can, uh, the test is also quite similar uh, to the point that we request uh, the URL. Okay, so the previous, all the part before that is the same. Uh, we get the URL and then we can check whether the status, status line is 200 okay. So whether we, we get back actually the correct um, if, if it's successful but then how can we check the content so the content is going to always change and in the previous version we checked the exact match exact string but that was easy because we knew what exactly we were looking for this time um, we can be we need to be more flexible we can't uh, test the exact time and um, we can um, uh, not without actually mocking the time for the application. We could do that, but it's way too much for, for this course because it's uh, it's primarily trying to focus on, on Dancer now. So I just created a regular expression that says, okay, this is how more or less it should look like. So digits, digits, dash, digits, whatever. Um, and then uh, it's sort of uh, not exact match, but uh, it's close to, uh, to the exact match. I don't even check uh, also the beginning before and after. So it could be improved, of course. But this is basically how you can uh, test whether this uh, thing uh, works. Um, okay, so let me finish this now. This, uh, so we'll have relatively short videos and then we go on with something uh, else in the next uh, video.